The Mystic River watershed sports many beautiful and easily accessible recreational areas, from the popular swimming spot at Shannon Beach and Upper Mystic Lake, to Mary O'Malley Park and Chelsea, and all along its length in between. The Mystic is a great place to explore, and a resource for swimming, boating, fishing, and walking or biking along the shore. The Mystic River Watershed Association recently sat down with Rick Beinecke, who is a professor at Suffolk University, and whose guidebook to the Mystic River will be published later this year, to hear about his favorite spots on the Mystic. I think one of my favorite places is actually just above here. Uh, the Upper Mystic Lake has an Upper Upper Mystic Lake uh, part of it uh, just above here, and it's a, probably one of the prettiest spots in this whole area. Great fishing area as well. And that area is interesting. It's part of Winchester because it uh, did not was not underwater. Uh, in the, the Mystic early is a great place for swimming, built in the boating, or late 1800s. fishing, or walking or biking By along the shore. It, uh, they put a whole industry underwater up there. It's a hidden set of coves up above here, mm -hmm. very quiet and just very special. Yeah, grandfather's house. People often call it grandmother's house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in Medford as you go down the river. Um, just before you get to Medford Center, it's on the right-hand side. It's a white pillared house. It's currently the Tufts Provost House, actually. Uh, but um, it's known because of an early poem that turned into a song called Over the River and Through the Woods, The Grandfather's House We Go. And as it turns out, the woman who wrote it is a woman named Lydia Childs, who when you get into it was actually one of the top abolitionists in the uh, country and was best known for that. On the other hand, what she's famous for is this one poem that's been turned into a ditty and a song. Uh, so there's a plaque there. It's a, it's a fun location that very few people realize what it really is. Another really nice section historically is the areas you go through the center of Medford where over 500 sailing ships were built in the 1800s, including major clipper ships of the day. And again, most people don't realize that there and also Chelsea, along with East Boston, were the major shipbuilding areas of New England and some of the major shipbuilding areas of the United States. If you go down to the Condon Bandshell, which is on Route 16, just beyond where Grandfather's house is, beautiful spot, great spot to put in, and you can go either upriver or downriver from there. Uh, and that's a, a really nice uh, area. A couple of other places is, uh, as you paddle down the river, this next section, once you go beyond the lake, is I think one of the prettiest sections. There's not a lot of noise from the cars nearby. And it's just, it's, it's as beautiful as the Concord or any of the rivers that are much more famous. Another section that very few people get down to is once you get underneath 93 uh, and start paddling that section down to the Earhart Dam. It's just a really pretty section, despite the noise from 93. And again, just some beautiful little spots uh, to uh, go up to. An area that's pretty, but again, most people don't realize it is the Malden River, which is where the Tufts uh, boathouses for uh, the crew uh, and uh, while the river is a bit messy uh, it's just some beautiful uh, pieces along that have been restored uh, in there. One of the things I would hope is that people can start to come out and enjoy this river and by enjoying it they will also get involved in trying to save it. Uh, the Mystic River Watershed Association is certainly a leading group but there's many other active groups in Somerville. Chelsea has a very active rivers group um, and by getting out and enjoying it then you get involved as I have been in how to clean it up how to preserve it and my hope is that just like the Neponset is in a similar sort of situation as we speak uh, the people will appreciate just what a great resource we have in this urban environment and will uh, get involved and have fun but also do good.